Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today talking about a major battery news here coming from LG Cham today. And furthermore, we will dive into the research group that was uh, making the pattern for the 1 million mile battery. They got 3.1 million dollars from Tesla. So we will dive into that and what that means for the battery research. And if you do enjoy my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel and I will love to have your support here. So thank you very much ahead. So we will start with the LG Gem batteries for the Shanghai build Model Y. Yes, you heard right. The Model Y is supposed to get new batteries by July and they are supposed to come from LG Gem. And this will be a NCMA nickel, cobalt, manganese, aluminum um, cathode battery. Sorry for the pronunciation here. It's pretty complicated. I try my best. So the NCMA um, battery is having more nickel. And remember that in Q2 2020, um, CEO Elon Musk mentioned that they need producers and miners to get more nickel because Tesla will need more nickel in the future. Interesting is that this battery, um, according to Business Korea, is um, having 5% less cobalt. So we had this topic many times and I'm really glad that Tesla is working on getting less cobalt inside. The only thing that is concerning me a bit is that Apparently, the commercial production here for this kind of batteries is not, um, yeah, not played out yet. Um, it seems like it has never been in commercial production before, and it's kind of um, irritating that they want to implement it in July already, despite not having any news that the production for these kind of batteries um, is already in a way ready for a production. Uh, phase like the Model Y in China. But maybe Tesla has the ability to produce those batteries on the side in Shanghai with a um, kind of a deal with LG Chem or LG Chem is already more ahead of the game as we know in the news. So this is major guys. That's some major news here, especially that you have to be remind. We all have to remind ourselves that these batteries um, are expected to have a higher range. And that's what Elon Musk said when the um, cobalt is getting less and the nickel is getting more. They expect much bigger range um, with the nickel inside. And these new batteries could help to achieve that. And that's another step how Tesla is not only working on better efficiency when it comes to production line, better factories than the competition. No, they're continuously investing and risking um, because it's kind of a risk because no other company is doing that with those batteries. They're implementing them in the Model Y. The only company that is actually having a small a supply agreement with LG Chem is GM and they will implement that in the Hammer EV. So um, interesting to see that GM has a deal here as well. So what I think is really interesting to look at is the fact that no other car company does it yet. Um, in this case, only GM is planning to do so. And does that not remind you of the LFP batteries? At the beginning, no, everyone was saying, well, it's not going to work. LFP batteries are not going to be good. But now Tesla is implementing them, is producing cars with LFP batteries and put them in the storage um, products as well. So now other companies have moved after Tesla and they do the same. So it's pretty interesting that Tesla is moving forward here again with a um, yeah, new um, way of batteries that can um, increase the range and no one else has done it before. So let's see how this plays out. Please, please let me know what your thought is about that because I find that really, really important for the, um, yeah, for the next uh, two, three years. So Tesla is further working on getting um, batteries inside that have uh, better uh, cost and are much more in the range or have much more range. Furthermore, we have news from a battery research group. So what does that mean? Well, this battery research group is lead, um, leaded by Jeff Dance. And um, Jeff Dance has been one of the key figures when it comes to battery cells and research, etc. And he is currently um, concentrating, concentrating on increasing density and durability and decreasing costs. 
and he also helped to fill patents that could help achieve a 1 million mile battery and they got in, um, a new contract with Tesla that was renewed till 2026. Part of the team is as well Mr. Jan and Mr. Michael Metzger and they also get got 2.9 million from the Natural Science and Engineering Research Council. So again, not only do we have a great deal here with LG Chem, but we also have news that Tesla is investing more money in this group of people researching about better batteries. And we have all seen that last year when this news came out that we have um, a million mile battery. I mean, that was a game changer. It affected the stock a lot. And we do know that the stock went down yesterday. I will talk about that in a second as well. Um, so we do see it's really important that this 3 million is nothing for Tesla right now. And those 3 million are really well invested in this group of people to get an even better battery with even less costs and better density. So that is also some really good news when it comes to that. Furthermore, in Germany, 11.6% of the total new cars were electric and Tesla sold 2,744 cars. Um, just as a German, I um, wanted to share that with you. But in general, for the European market, Tesla is not performing bad, but I don't think we will see any great impacts um, over the next few months. I do really see that a lot of people, also based on my German channel that I do, a lot of people are holding back with new cars because they want to buy a Model Y. So just as a hint here for those who know that I'm from Europe, I do expect a lot of people waiting for the Model Y and I do expect that this might affect the Model 3 uh, sales in the next few months. Furthermore, just to clarify what yesterday happened, there were two news saying one, the sales are going to be down and one said the orders are going to do be down. Well, that's a major difference and a lot of people commented on my video yesterday and just want to clarify. Um, I uploaded the video before the news was hitting um, newspapers here that apparently the orders are down and there's some misconception here. I mean, orders don't mean that the month is going to be bad. Of course, there can be two months where you have less orders in China. But remember, the Model 3 is exported as well. There is market in Australia and other Asian countries, India and as well Europe. So even though if the demand is going a bit down for a few months in China, that doesn't mean that the numbers are going to be affected negatively. So remember that because they have enough demand to export cars easily. If you do enjoy my channel, do consider subscribing and thank you for your support.